Hi, Gary. Hi, Annie. How are you? Good. Great. And uh, we are here to get, uh, to get some few questions for Gary Wisner. So let's start. Yeah. The first question is, could you please tell us more about your background? Well, it's interesting because my background is not that of an artist that has come much later in life. Um, I have a background in tool and die making, engineering, um, and then started developing my love for art maybe 10 or 15 years ago on and off when it was the old film days. Um, but since then, with the help of some important people uh, belonging to a photo club in my hometown of Hillsboro, um, I've been able to develop a sense of style for my art and direction of where I want to take it. And it's, it's been very helpful with the engineering background because my art is very engineer-driven and precise. So I try to blend that together with my creation of my art. that you have five categories for your artworks the nature the travel structure abstract reflections and reflections yes. yeah among those reflect uh, among those uh, uh, categories uh, which 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 category do you uh, like most um, it's it began with the reflections and that's how it originally started but now it's gravitated more to the the abstract reflections to be able to create something different mm -hmm. because um, many artists use reflections in different ways, but taking a reflection to the next level and making the viewer try to figure out what they're looking at, even though most of my work is done in a big city, people are walking past this type of art all day and they never realize it because their heads are down in their phones instead of looking up at the tops of buildings and that. So it's definitely the abstract reflection. creating process be like when you're trying to create the abstract reflections uh, artwork? Like it, it'll, it'll start with um, picking a nice Saturday or a Sunday, mm -hmm. um, have my wife and I, will go into New York City, yeah. sometimes with no plan, and just start walking around because in a city like New York, they're tall buildings with all the glass and structure and everything, it gives a such a great canvas for me to be able to work with. Um, it's a lot of changing angles for me, kneeling down, laying down, standing up, looking at things just from different angles because with an image like this, just moving your head from side to side when you're taking the picture will change this immensely because of the reflections of the light. Is there anything you hope the viewers could get from your artwork? As an abstract artist, um, what I hope is that they'll take time to investigate them. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many little things within the piece, whereas with the, the frames of the glass itself creates all these mini pictures inside yeah. of a larger picture. Yeah. And then you, you can look to try to find out, like this picture is building scaffolding yes. that in a different color panel changes color and morphs, yes. So it's just a matter of getting the viewer to look at it and thinking, I see something, but I'm not sure what it is, and taking time to stop and look at other things they can find in it. Yeah, and different people look at these lines, also the same lines, they will have different views. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you choose Alpha Art Gallery? Alpha Gallery was recommended to me by um, a gentleman that I've known for many years now. He's an artist. And um, when I got the notification from it, I thought it was very important. Um, not ever having been um, exhibited in New Brunswick or at this gallery, mm -hmm. just a new place to get my artwork out that a different clientele of people can see it, just to maybe drive people to the website and just get them a little bit more familiar. So that's the reason why um, it was important to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andy.